back with another weekly grocery haul for you guys. And before I get started, I wanted to say that if you notice this, there is no milk in this haul. I actually had to go a couple days ago to get some just because I had not gotten any last week because we hadn't run out of what we had gotten the week before, if that makes sense. Because Kroger's has been doing this like really great five times e-coupon, I had gotten five gallons of milk the week before, which is about one gallon more than we need for a week. So it kind of trickled over to the next week and then it kind of made the milk buying situation a little off schedule, if that makes any sense. So I got five gallons of milk a couple days ago because they are still running, I think it's $1.25 off per gallon of organic milk, which we drink. So I got five gallons a couple days ago. So no organic milk today, but I did do the five times coupon on the organic orange juice. Now we normally get the just the regular Simple Truth Organic No Pulp Orange Juice. They only had two, and since you can use the e-coupon five times, I didn't want to waste the savings, so I got one with vitamin D and calcium. I got, oh, I got three with no pulp, sorry. And then this one I think has pulp because my husband does like pulp. So I got five things of orange juice, but they don't expire until the end of August, so that'll definitely last us, not even that long, honestly, but it'll last us longer than a week. Um, I got my Cascadian Farms Organic Multigrain Squares. I eat this sometimes with a banana chopped up inside just for a snack. My favorite cereal in the morning, Leap and Lemurs. The girls got two of the Koala Crisp and two of their granola that they like so much. Of course, my Guilty Brownies. Three organic tomatoes. And this is something I've never bought before. My parents really love it. And I've never made mashed potatoes. I know that makes me a terrible mom, but I just, I've never done it. I really don't think it makes me a terrible mom, but I get teased by my family for not ever having made mashed potatoes. And I just don't make things that really call for mashed potatoes as a side, but apparently it's a big deal to people that I don't. So I did get these to try because they are natural, they're not organic, um, but I figured it'd be a good thing to have just, you know, once until I actually get up the nerve to make my own mashed potatoes. I want to do it in the crock pot because I don't want to have to stand over like boiling potatoes all day and do all this other stuff. So. If you guys have a good uh, mashed potato crock pot recipe that doesn't involve like tons of cream cheese and all this stuff, then let me know in the comments. I would like to hear your recipe suggestions. So, but I did get this just because the girls do like mashed potatoes and I figured it'd be something good to have with something I'm making next week. Again, with the five times e-coupon, this is the organic cheese that we get. I get block cheese now whenever possible and shred it ourselves because there's no cellulose in block cheese and then there is cellulose in even organic shredded cheese. It helps it to keep from caking together. I understand it's got a benefit, but I don't want to eat it. So whenever possible, I get block cheese and I use this to put in chili. I use it in my bean rest, my bean yumminess recipe I've talked about. So lots of different ways we can use this and they don't expire until October. So with five of these, that'll last us for a while. There was also there was also an e-coupon on the Horizon Organic Sliced Cheese and uh, well, basically any of their cheeses. I think it was a dollar off. So I got two of the American Singles and then one of the Mozzarella String Cheese for the girls. I get the Faye yogurt every week, but I usually get 2%. I use this as a sour cream alternative. I use it in my egg salad instead of mayonnaise, and I use it sometimes with granola mixed in as a snack. And I've never done the, the 0%. It kind of scares me that it may be too bitter well, I don't think it'll be too bitter to replace sour cream, but it may be too bitter to use with granola. I'm not sure, but I did want to try it. So I got the 0% this time instead of 2%. Organic bananas, organic cucumber. I needed to replace my garlic or my um, garlic salt because I realized the one that I was using had GMOs. I just never thought to look at it, but it did. So I threw it away and I found this one and it just has sea salt, garlic, sugar, cornstarch, natural garlic flavor and parsley. Again, it's not organic, so I'm sure there's probably something in here that's not great for you, but at least it doesn't have GMOs. And I needed to get another of my organic oregano leaves. I'm trying a new recipe next week that called for elbow macaroni, so I got the gluten-free elbow macaroni. I really love this brand of gluten-free panay. I think it's better than regular panay, and even though it's not organic, at least it is gluten-free. So we really like that. I got two things of organic eggs. They were also part of the e-coupon, but I didn't want to get five dozen eggs. I just got two. Again, with the five coupon, the five times coupon, um, any Simple Truth organic beans. So I got all pinto beans this time because I stocked up on black beans last week. So five cans of pinto beans. I use pinto beans in chili. I use it in taco soup. 
and a couple other things. So I got five cans of that. And then for a recipe next week, I needed some tomato sauce. So I got Simple Truth Organic Tomato Sauce. Also got the Tyson Fun Nuggets. I don't get these very often for the girls. And I try to get organic nuggets whenever possible, but we really don't eat nuggets a whole lot. We're not really into those quick kind of convenience foods. Ignore my chair over there. I moved it out of the way. Um, but as far as conventional chicken nuggets go, these are not too bad. And this is actually the ones they serve at Rainforest Cafe at Disney, if you didn't know. So they, the girls like to have these here at home just kind of, just for fun. So I did get a bag of that. Also got some Several Truth ground turkey, two things of chicken breasts. Uh, my husband, I got him the Black Forest ham. You'll notice that I get, most of the time when I get things for him, it's not organic because he's very old school. He doesn't want to try the new stuff. He doesn't want to try organic stuff. He thinks that sometimes it tastes different, which I personally don't think it does. But he doesn't care about basically what he eats, <laughs> to be honest. So I got him just the Kroger brand Black Forest ham for me and the girls. I got some Simple Truth Organic Smoked Turkey Breast. Uh, I got an organic onion, some of the Oscar Mayer natural bacon. Again, make sure you get the uncured. That way it does not have any added nit nitrates and nitrites, which are very bad for you. Um, and it tells you right here, no um, artificial ingredients, no nitrates or nitrites added, no, art no artificial preservatives, gluten-free and no hormones. So if you're gonna get a bacon, this is a good one to get. And then I also got a package of organic ground beef for a recipe. For next week so last week if you watch my grocery haul i shared with you in the description box my homemade lasagna recipe so if this week i'm going to be sharing my taco soup recipe a lot of you guys have asked about that because i mentioned it in a haul a couple weeks ago and a lot of you wanted to see what the recipe was i'm not very good at cooking videos so i don't really want to make that video but i'm going to put the recipe for you in the description box so it's really good it was actually originally a weight watchers recipe Nobody in my family has ever done Weight Watchers, but my mom used to work with a lady that did, and she had brought it to work one day, and they had it, and that was the first time my mom had it, so she had gotten the recipe from her and then kind of passed it down to me. It is really, really good. There are some ingredients that are not natural, or you can leave them out, and I'll put that in the description box if you want to make it more natural. Um, otherwise, I'll put the original recipe, and you can modify it however you like. Um, but it's really good, it's really easy, it's good leftover, and I think it's good for everybody, kids and adults. So I'm gonna put that in the description box this week. And if you guys have any questions about anything, let me know. If you like this video and you like grocery hauls and you wanna see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video, bye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video. If you wanna see two of my older videos, you can click the links right here. And if you wanna to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, and you definitely should, you can click right here. I upload every single week. I have some links in the description box for some of my favorite stores and products, as well as my PO box address. Check out those links if you're interested in those, and I will see you guys in the next video.